Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be <clears throat> a client's past life reading. I'm just going to light my reading candle. Um, so past life readings require a lot of concentration on my part. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can get into that zone right now. Um, just trying to focus on what deck I want to work with for you and um, I brought out the Labradorites because Labradorite is really good for getting into that zone into that like other world <laughs> um, so what I'm thinking is let me think what decks <sighs> I think my Bohemian Gothic is calling to me. I have that one right here. And so is this one, the House of Night. I'm feeling dark energy and I and when I say dark energy, um don't be alarmed because I don't mean um Negative. I don't mean evil, like nothing like that. Dark energy to me is just the subject matter of what we're reading about is not the um, most pleasant, okay? Um, and I think that that's why I was having a hard time like focusing. Also because I was just distracted earlier. Um, my husband insists on cleaning while I'm trying to film. So <laughs> yeah, I had to like chase him out of the room. But um, I feel like the energy that we're focusing on or that I'm trying to focus on is more tragic energy and usually that's that is an indication when I'm not able to focus on um, the reading is because the subject matter is deep okay um, at least that's what my intuition is telling me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle and with the past life readings I don't use a spread if I don't feel um, if I, uh, if I don't feel a connection with my client, um, for past life, then I will use a spread to kind of help me. But for you, um, I've read for you multiple times before. And like I said, I'm really feeling the vibe of like a tragic, um, there was a loss. And so that's what I'm feeling here. And, um, I want to make sure that you're aware of that before we begin the reading because <laughs> I don't want you like watching this video thinking, oh, you know, it's going to be like this happy, um, this happy past life experience. I have the Enchanted Map Oracle because this is another one. This is another goodie that I like to pull for readings, but we'll see if I even want to use that one. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling very... Mm, like a loss, grieving, melancholy, feeling like it was a child, to be honest with you. Um, but it's hard to say if it was your child or if you were the child that was experiencing a loss. Um, I'm also getting drowning. That's what I just heard right now. So it's funny because usually um, I wait for the cards to inspire me. But for you, I'm just sitting in this moment and shuffling and I'm already getting the story. So <laughs> that's very interesting. So I'm going to run with that. Um, so I heard drowning. I heard, um, I, I feel child. Um, but like I said, I don't know the details. So the cards will hopefully deliver that. Um, but I do feel this surrounds, this surrounds a loss of some sort. As I do feel the, the sensation of grieving. It's a very somber emotion. Um, and dark, dark energy, just like nighttime, maybe this situation took place at night, but the, the reason why I was so pulled to, there we go, the specifics, um, the specific decks really says a lot about the energy of the reading. Okay. So we have warrior success, high priestess of spirit and obedience. So um, definitely the the energy coming forward, feminine. Um, with warrior and success, there was definitely success in the, the 
the passion, the, the past life, the purpose of this life being fulfilled. Um, I was trying a different angle for the cards for the reading the table. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too annoying. Um, obedience. I feel like I said, like I'm, I'm saying child strength, the world, the king of swords, temperance. So, okay, so definitely with obedience coming forward, this is telling me I feel like this is a child that's coming through to tell a story. Um, and I'm feeling like this child with the king of swords, this was a father figure that this child was um, dealing with, okay? Now, for the fact that the, the father figure is coming up as a king of swords tells me already that this child was supposed to be obedient to this individual, okay? Um, this child felt like they needed to follow the rules all the time. The king of swords energy is somebody who is no bullshit. They are, um, you don't, oh, there's the camera there. <laughs> you don't um, disobey, you, you follow the rules. Um, also, what I'm getting with the king of swords is this person was very cold to this child, okay? Um, this person didn't show a lot of affection. This person didn't show this child a lot of love, okay? Um, there was just, it was strict, a very strict household setting with this person. Um, and I feel like with the warrior, it's almost like the child had to grow up becoming stronger for the fact that their father figure was not the correct um, type of father figure in that this this child needed um, so I'm really gathering from that now I know as as far as your past life goes I feel for you it, you were the child your lesson was obedience to somebody who was technically not a father figure they were not really the way that a father figure should be okay I'm getting a very like abusive um, verbal abusive, but this could also, you know, be more than just that. Um, but very abusive household, very um, serious household, cold. I'm getting cold because of the armor. Um, with the high priestess of spirit coming forward, I feel like this was a guardian of some sort, like a, um, a grandmother perhaps, that was there um, in spirit, but also in the flesh. Um, so there was somebody always around you as a child that was protecting of you because I see it here with the temperance card too. And temperance in this deck reminds me so much of a grandmother <laughs> with the, um, you know, she's, she's not old, but it's just, you have the wings here. She's like a fairy godmother type. So I'm really feeling like that with the, with the high priestess of spirit, almost reflecting like a grandmother figure. I'm going to go back to that because that's the key word that comes, keeps coming through. Um, but a protector, okay? So I feel there was no mother, okay? There was no mother involved in this in this setting. You grew up with a father who was very strict, who was very rude, um, oh, very outspoken, um, but like I said, abusive in that form, very verbally abusive. There was no love in this situation. The warrior tells me you had to grow up fast. The success card was telling me, you know, um, the success through this life, perhaps, that, that, you know, you always had to be better than, than what this person wanted you to be. They wanted you to um, constantly succeed. They compared you, I feel, because um, we also have the world card. So it's like they um, perhaps kept you from experiencing matters of the world. You had to grow up too fast, perhaps, but also you were very sheltered. Um, but as far as the loss goes, I'm wondering if that has to do with the mother because there is no mother here. Um, almost like you had to grow up, like I said, very fast. You became very strong with the strength card that goes hand in hand with warrior. Um, but there was no mother figure. Eight of swords, death. There we go. Ace of wands. Um, once your mother had passed, yeah, 10 of cups and the devil, she passed with some sort of, um, this could be the devil could be some sort of uh, an addiction 
or a suicide, I feel, okay? Because the energy was so heavy when I was first tapping in. Um, this was a very tragic experience for you. The fact that the devil comes hand in hand with the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is usually a card of family, it's a family card or it's a fam it's a card of like it's supposed to be coming together happy endings that kind of a that kind of a energy but side by side with the devil was this actually turned out to be the the tragic the tragedy that I was tapping into the 8 of swords is like that escape from the mind you lost your mind after the fact after the mother left whether she it was at her own hand or she was you know like i said heavily addicted to something and it was like an overdose of some sort um i feel with the eight of swords and the death card the death is at the core her loss tripped you up her loss caused you to spiral downward um and i feel like also the father in this this is where he lost his mind too um because it was he was left with this huge um responsibility to take care of a child which was you um and without the mother, you know, to do so, he really had to figure out, you know, what to do. And I feel the two of you in your own way lost your minds. The world card, like I said, now like when I see the world card, it makes sense. You know, your world was turned upside down, that kind of thing. Um, it was like having to start over. The Ace of Wands is, is that card of um, new beginning. So it's a fresh new beginning, taking action. But at the same time, it's a new beginning without the mother figure very 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 raw and powerful message there um so that's just kind of to give an idea of the setting of this um past life so i want to pull into your experiences and your lessons in this particular past life and how that pertains to your present because the whole point of past life reading is to get a snapshot view of what you dealt with as a child or as as an adult or however whoever you know you were in this past life and in, in this instance you were a child um and how this how this pans out for you in the future how does this influence your present life i'm hearing <laughs> i'm hearing um she afraid of like she fears loneliness or she fears you know not being not being um with someone so I feel like you're in your present life the fear of living alone the fear of dying alone is very much um, present for you that's what I was hearing right now we have understanding denial honest strength so it's interesting that the strength card came up again for you. <clears throat> I feel like this is you having to be honest with yourself. This is you having to, you know, believe your, believing your emotions, believing your feelings, being honest with yourself, not living in denial of your fears, perhaps. Um, and then the strength is like, is, is showing you have more, I feel is, is saying you have more power than you think you do. Um... You are a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. <clears throat> um, I feel like the understanding card is interesting because it's giving me the feeling of the more that you learn about yourself, the stronger that you become. The more that you learn of who you are, who you used to be, um, especially with this past life, you were a very vulnerable child in this past life and you had to grow up fast. You experienced loss at a very young age um, and I was feeling as a when I was tapping in the energy I don't think I said it the energy of the child was male um, so you had to grow up fast and whatnot but it, I feel like it gave you an appreciation for the, the gentle things in life and appreciation for the things that we take for granted and I feel like in your present life um, it's all, it is like a lesson for you to be appreciative of the little things, to be appreciative of the the people that are in your life um, for a reason, you know, and don't deny. I feel like the denial is like, don't deny yourself pleasure um, as if the hand is reaching up for the grapes. 
I feel like it's saying don't deny yourself pleasures of life because you feel like you're not good enough or not worthy enough. We have the stars. So we have healing. The ace of wands. Strength. Nine of swords. Eight of swords. So I love it. So the message here that is, is crystal clear. The cards are pretty much saying even in your darkest times or even in your most um, troubling moments, <laughs> when things are really, really hard, you still have to push through. Um, you have nightmares and I feel like that's what the nine of swords is, is kind of coming forward to say is you have nightmares and you do have nightmares of things that maybe you don't understand. Okay. I'm not saying that you're dreaming about this past life that we showed, but perhaps there are elements to this past life that scare the crap out of you. Whether it is losing someone that you love, you're very connected maybe to your mother, um, or, you know, as a child or, or having children, um, maybe, the whole living your life alone freaks the crap out of you. Whatever it is, I feel the, the nightmare card is popping up. But it's also side by side with the Eight of Wands, which is a card of moving forward. Okay, Eight of Wands, whenever the Eight of Wands comes into a reading, I always like to tell my client that this is a card indicating you need to move forward. Um, you got to focus. Um, you can't be looking into the past. So very interesting that that came up, especially when you're dealing with fears. Um, which are coming up as nightmares in the card, but we all have fears and perhaps yours are, you know, maybe yours come in, come through to you in dreams. Um, the strength card, again, you have two strength cards and it came up in your previous reading, the previous spread, um, which is, I feel like it's just saying you are a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. You are, um, you have the ability to, you know, surpass some of the challenges that you seek, that you, that you have in life. Um, and I also feel like your fears give you power too. Like they strengthen you in a way. Um, it's hard to look at it that way because I understand like our, our, <laughs> our fears can be very, um, they, they can act as like roadblocks for us so that we're not able to, um, or we feel like we're not able to pass pass the, the block or to get to the next phase. Um, but I feel like for you, it strengthens you. It gives you power, energizes you. So even though your fears are there and they're, they could be de debilitating, they are also very much um, energy sources. They give you power to push on, and which is why I feel the strength card comes through so much for you is that it's showing you... Um, you need to learn how to twist your your um, your fears and your um, flaws into strengths for you as power sources for you to charge from. Again, with the Ace of Wands, the new beginnings, this is new beginnings and taking action. I also feel like for you in the present life, this is for you to take on the creative outlets that perhaps you didn't do in your previous life as, a, as that young boy. Um, you didn't get to live your life the way you wanted to because you were um, locked in in that abusive relationship with your father because you were broken inside in your mind. You went, not, you went crazy because of losing your mother to such an ugly, um, whether it was addiction or suicide, it was hard to tell. Um, so I feel like in that past life, you really limited yourself. And the Ace of Wands coming up again in your previous or in your present life is telling me, um, don't let your fears hold you back from taking on paths that you want to take in life. Things that interest you, things that, um, that you really wanna try. <laughs> don't let your fears hold you back from it you are allowed to have new beginnings in different ways. So I feel like that's what that's saying there. And then of course with the star card, you are in a life right now, um, your present life of a lot of healing. Um, whether this is healing from you know matters of the past in this present life, this could be maybe um, forgiveness of other past lives that you've gone through, especially the one that we just read about, you know. Now that you know where what your soul endured at that time, you can kind of do a forgiveness ritual where you tell yourself, like, um, I forgive you for 
I, I, you know, I forgive so-and-so for doing this. I forgive myself for doing this and holding myself back. This is the life where I'm going to push myself forward. Like, I feel like, I really feel like this is the life that you put things together that you really, um, obtain a lot of those dreams that you didn't get to have in the previous life. Um, so the, the fact that the star card came up for you was really sweet because star card is a card of forgiveness. It's a, it's a healing card. It is moving forward from the past. Um, and then of course, you know, that goes hand in hand with honesty. You know, you're being honest with yourself that I, you know, my soul didn't always live a glamorous life. My soul struggled in previous lives, you know, but you don't deny it. You just, you, you learn to embrace it. So it's a really beautiful, that's a really beautiful reading. I really love that because even though we're talking about a very tragic subject matter, um, there's always like something to, um, I don't want to say it's something that makes it worthwhile, but it's like, it makes sense. It's just something that you learn from it. There's always that lesson to strengthen you. And like I said, strength is a very, it's a big, it's a big card for you. It is a very big card. Okay, so I'm just going to pull on what to take from this reading. We got cycles and denial that fell out of the deck. Cycles, I'm, I'm feeling like in the denial card is, it's saying the more that you don't learn from yourself, the more that you um, <clears throat> allow yourself to fall into the continuous cycles without learning your lessons, you're you're not going to get out. You're not going to grow. And so I feel like that's what spirit is saying is is like you have fears in this present life. Don't let them keep you from obtaining the things that you want in life. You're just going to fall in that same cycle of not getting what you want or not getting what you deserve because you allowed yourself to be held back, you know. And in your previous life as that little boy who lost his mother, he allowed himself to be overcome by the grieving and he stayed trapped in that home with that father who was, you know, not good enough. He, that father was nothing to him. So um, don't allow yourself to be trapped anymore. Don't deny yourself the pleasures that you seek. I really feel like that's what these cards are saying for you. It's a beautiful message, but it's also heartbreaking because <clears throat> so many, so many of us waste such precious time in our present life being afraid to do things um worrying about what other people are thinking or will think that we don't allow ourselves to experience the full potential of our life and that's really upsetting to me so i want to make sure that you do that we have knight of cups page of wands six of cups i love it so i really feel like this is saying like tap back into the things that made you happy as a child Okay, the things that you desired when you were a young person, um, what interests you, you know? Again, with the page of wands, your creativity is calling to you, but it's also asking you to look at it from a child's perspective. When you were young, what things interested you? What did you say you wanted to be when you grew up? That kind of thing. I really feel like you question a lot about your life. You question a lot about your path. And I feel like a lot of the secrets to your purpose resolve or reside um when you were a young person <laughs> and then of course the knight of cups be patient with the matters of your heart be patient with other people but also be patient in focusing on the things that make you you know who you are for that come from within the knight of cups energy is very patient but they're also they talk about the cups energy which is water or emotions matters of the heart that kind of thing you really got to stem when you're breaking these cycles and you're allowing yourself pleasures of the world you really have to dive into what are the things that your heart craves um rather than what are the things that other people think are good for you so that is definitely the lesson that you should learn from this past life reading Beautiful reading. I really feel like this is going to speak volumes for you. I feel <clears throat> um, you're going to see the connections and I really hope that this helps you, um, you know, push you forward to maybe either dive into, you know, your past life some more, do some meditation work with it or use it as motivation to 
break the cycles right now that you are dealing with and to push you forward to obtaining the dreams and the pleasures of life that you know you deserve. So with that, I will leave this to you. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. And anyone who's watching, this is the Past Life Reading. It is available in my shop. Check it out, and I will see you guys later. Bye, loves.